Hi everybody, it's Dawn from Diamond Dadding Divas. Today I'm going to show you how to take one of your finished diamond paintings and put it onto a pillow. Um, we've done this before, we've showed samples of it, we had some Christmas ones. So I'm gonna try and take you through the process today of how to do that. So I'm gonna first tell you what you'll need to do that. So first of all, you're gonna need, of course, a pillowcase, okay? So this is the, just a throw pillow case. We do sell these at Diamond Dotting Divas. We have the khaki uh, buffalo plaid. We have a black and white buffalo plaid. Then we have just a natural one and a solid black one also. Okay, so you can pick these up from us. They do zip at one end. Okay, so then you could just pop your pillow into it, zip it back up, and you're good to go. And if you do these for the holidays, then it's easy to store. You just take your pillow out. You can lay this flat in a storage bin or probably fold it over one way or whatever, I don't know, um, and store it. So easy to store. So you're gonna need a pillowcase. You're also gonna need um, some fabric glue. Now this is the glue I'm using. It's called Fabric Fusion by Aileen's. Uh, they sell this at Walmart and all the craft stores. You could even get it on Amazon, okay? This is a small bottle. Um, they come in larger bottles also. So Fabric Fusion from Aileen's. There are other fabric glues out there, okay? This just happens to be the one I'm using. Feel free to use whatever you'd like. You're gonna need an iron, okay? So you'll need an iron. You're going to need um, a piece of fabric or some fabric. I've already cut these, so I'll show you why in a minute. Fabric that you wanna use behind your artwork, okay? So you can just put your uh, sealed artwork right onto the pillow and not put anything behind it. That's up to you. I like to put a little color behind it to pop it a little bit. Um, also, the pillows are like about 18 by 18, so it just kind of takes up more space if you do that. Um, I'm gonna be trying to use a hot glue gun today. So I have this here as a just in case. I have a paintbrush in case we need it to spread out our glue. Of course, I have a scissors as a just in case and a napkin as a just in case. And then of course, our artwork. Okay, so this is the artwork I'm gonna be doing today. This is called Bunny Cup. Okay, and I just finished this uh, yesterday or day before, and I did seal it. Now, what I sealed it with was um, the Ultra Gloss Mod Podge and just a touch of water, okay? So not a lot, not like a half and half, just a touch of water with the Mod Podge just to thin it up just a little bit, and then I sealed it and let it dry overnight, okay? So you can see it's, all, it's still pliable, okay? It's not really hard, it's a little stiffer, but it's, not, it's still pliable. And then what I did is I took a rotary cutter and I cut off um, all the edge of this. So you know that there would be normally the grid here, that white edging all around. I used a rotary cutter and I cut off all the edge to get it like this, okay? Now, the first thing um, that I wanna to talk to you about is the trim on it. And I'm hoping you can see, excuse me, I'm gonna lower this a little bit, there we go. Okay, so the trim I'm going to do is I'm going to do this kind of a brown look. I don't know if you'll be able to see it there. There it is. Okay, so I'm gonna do a bit of a brown like that. And then I'm, I've am i got this um, ribbon that I happened to pick up at Dollar Tree probably last year or something and it just was in my ribbon stash. So I'm gonna use it because it's got the colors in it, the teals and stuff. Um, and then I'm gonna do that as another layer over it, okay? So what I've already done, so that you wouldn't have to watch me iron, is I've cut these pieces to, I don't know, about an inch, maybe an inch wider on each side of my canvas, okay? So I cut them into strips about an inch wider than my canvas. And then what I did is I took the iron and I folded over these little tabs on the corner and I ironed it so that it's um, got a point to it. Okay, and the reason for that is to try and miter, miter your edges, okay? Um, I'm not perfect at it, but I just do the best I can, and that's all, we, that's all you can expect, just do the best you can. Okay, so the reason for the glue gun today is I'm gonna try and lay this out and just um, attach my fabric to my canvas here before I actually glue it right to my pillowcase, okay? Now, today I'm using strips only because I had these um, pieces of fabric left in my stash, so that's why I'm using strips. The other thing you can do is you can use 
a large piece of fabric and glue this right onto the large piece of fabric, okay? That would work also. Now, let me tell you, if you were gonna do that, and actually, I'm just gonna use a piece of paper here and we'll pretend. So pretend this is a large piece of fabric. If you were gonna glue this right onto here, like this, and you could definitely do it, um, right onto here, so say you're gonna do that. I would leave double the amount that you want to show up here, okay? And I'll tell you why in a minute. So say this is my piece of fabric, so I would leave double the amount, and then what I would do with my fabric is I would fold this over, like so, okay? And then put this on there so that the fabric behind here is doubled. The reason for that is the fabric glue will sometimes bleed through. If it's just a thin cotton fabric like this, the fabric glue might bleed through. So if you double up that layer behind there, that helps to try and hopefully prevent that, okay? So I do recommend that whenever you put the fabric behind here, that you fold, give it a fold, give it a nice fold, use your iron, um, and double up that fabric behind there to try and prevent the glue from seeping through, okay? So you could definitely use a larger piece of fabric, or like I said, I just happen to have fabric pieces and ribbon pieces, so I'm just using um, kind of leftovers that I had laying around today. Okay, so I've already, oh, I didn't do a very good iron job on this one. Um, I've already done that. So what I'm gonna have to try and do, and it's kind of gonna be like a puzzle for me, um, is we're going to try and attach these, I hope, to the edges, okay? So I'm gonna start with my first one here. Now this one has like a raw edge and I can see already that it's not, um, it's got these fuzzies on it. So I'm gonna cut those off. See, good thing I brought my scissors as a just in case. Okay, so I'm gonna cut those off. And you know what? I'm gonna just put a dab of glue on here and fold that over so it stays down, okay? So I kind of have an edge there. All right. So what I'm going to do, I'm turning this guy over, and I'm hoping this works for y'all. Um, we're going to try and make it as straight as possible. Now, this brown that I'm putting on, I don't necessarily want a whole lot of that to show. Um, because remember, I'm putting that other ribbon on too. Now, I'm not gluing this a lot so that it's solid. I'm kind of just putting some dabs along just to kind of hold it in place and again this is more so because i am using um strips and not a full piece if you use a full piece you may not need to do this okay so i'm just gonna just to kind of hold it in place for now okay and also um i didn't put a lot on there because if i have to redo it if i didn't do it right and i have to pull it off it'll come off easily hopefully okay so here's what i have first right all right, so now, remember we talked about those sides, the corners. These are probably the most difficult. Um, like I said, you have to kind of miter the corners. I'm just trimming off some of these extra threads here, sorry. Okay, so now let me figure out what I'm doing here. I'm gonna take this corner to this corner, okay? So you could see that again, where it's folded over, kind of look at the other side to see how it's going to look. Again, this has some of those fuzzy edges on it. I'm gonna cut those off. Make sure you always have a scissors by you because you never know. All right, hang on with me there just a sec. Okay, so I cut off that fuzzy edge. Again, I'm gonna just dot with my glue gun here just to kind of hold it in place. Now, like I said, you might not always need a glue gun. If you're doing um, the whole full piece or whatever, you might not need a glue gun. And it depends on how you wanna make your edges. Now, I'm mitering my edges. You could do just overlap them and do like squared edges. So overlap your fabric you know, up and then overlap it across, kinda of like a quilted thing, you could do that. So whatever you wanna do, this is your project. You get to do with it what you like. Okay, I hope this is gonna work. Okay, again, just little dabs of glue to hold it in place until I can get to the fabric glue part of it, okay? So that's all I'm doing. Oh, I'm hoping this is gonna be long enough. Okay, so again, just little dabs. You can see I'm not putting a lot. 
Okay. Now, you can see that I took this fabric and folded it in half, right? Remember I said you want to do double um, layers. So even though these are just strips, I do have it doubled. And this is just that, um, you know, thin cotton fabric that you can get at the Walmart or fabric store or whatever. Okay, I did not do a very good job mitering this corner, but I'm gonna go with it. I'm just gonna leave it. You know what, nobody will know this but me. Um, yeah, that's the hardest part. So it might be easier to do the squared edges. Um, I don't know. You guys will figure something out, I'm sure. But yeah, I, my miter is not right in the corner. So now let me think, let me think if I could fix it. See, by just doing that little bit of glue, it's easy to pull apart. So let me see if I can, hang on, I'm thinking. I'm thinking, do you see the smoke? Let me see. So what was happening is my crease, my seam for the corner is not was not lining up with the seam of the project. Okay, this is better. Not perfect, but better. So I'm just gonna tap some glue in there. Okay. Alright. It's it's better. Like I said, it's not perfect, but it's okay. All right, now I do have a lot of bulge here in this corner. You can see it and you can see it on the other side. So I am going to trim just to clean it up a little bit. Remember too, I am putting another layer over this. So, okay, so like I said, it's not perfect. But I'm not a machine. All right. All right, it's okay. Okay, so you see my corner? It's not perfect, but that's okay. We're putting another layer of that other fabric over it, the ribbon, so it'll have to do. Okay, so let me get this down. Stay with me, I know you guys are probably like, okay, enough, getting bored. Okay, so there's that corner. Um, I don't know if we're gonna do all four corners because time. Okay. This one looks like it's going to line up pretty well, so I'm just going to do a little bit of glue here to hold it in place. Okay. This one came together, that corner came together pretty easy, so, you know, that's what happens. You'll get a couple corners that work great, a couple that don't. Okay, trying to get my glue hairs off. Okay, so you can see that corner, okay? And then we've got this last one. This is where it all comes together. We hope it works. It's like the last piece of the puzzle. Eh, one side's gonna look great. One side's gonna be eh, but the finished project will be fine because we are doing that extra layer of ribbons. So I'm gonna pop this on here. Okay, so now this last one, I'm gonna have to, I think, refold a little bit. Yeah, um, just cause it was a little longer and that's what'll happen when you get to that last piece. Okay, bear with me guys. All right. Okay, so as you can see, the back is pretty messy okay you're not gonna see it lots of strings you can cut those off if you'd like um, all right how are we doing guys everybody bearing with me there okay so I've got some glue hairs oh my glue did not see I'm using so little glue on here that sometimes it's just not even holding. Okay, and just kind of do it the best you can to get it flat. Okay. Okay, so I keep saying okay, sorry. All right, so I'm going to trim any extra 
threads I have laying around there. Okay, again, this is not perfect. I have more brown at the top or on one side than the other, but we'll try and fix it with the ribbon. Okay, um, that's what happens when you do it on video. Then, uh, you know, I, I don't play with it as much because I don't want you guys to sit and watch this whole thing. Okay. So the next thing we're going to do then is we're going to put our ribbon on. Now the ribbon is going to kind of be the same, um, w the same thing. Now, remember I said like I've got a lot of brown on this side, not the other. Well, because I'm putting another layer on, wait, does it go in this way? Um, I can kind of cover that up, I think, a little bit more. So hoping this works. Hmm. What I'm thinking now, I'm looking at this ribbon, and you know what? What I think, instead of putting this ribbon on here like this, I think I am going to, I think this will be easier because this ribbon is going to lay on top. So what I think I'm going to do, so you see what I did is I cut the ribbon now a little bit bigger than this, okay? And did the same thing. I mitered the corners. I folded them over. You have to adjust them as you kind of go along. And what I'm gonna do is I am going to use the fabric glue and glue this down with just a little bit of that brown showing, okay? But I think because it's going on top, I think I'm going to attach this ribbon once this is on my pillow, okay? So I'm gonna hang on to this. I'm gonna let, I'm gonna attach this to the pillow first, even though I know this side, like this side has too much brown and I could, move it let me see but i'm not going to because you know what the ribbon will cover up um the ribbon's going to cover up i can make it you know i could adjust it because i'm putting that extra layer on okay but here's what here's what i'm saying okay you see what i did so this side's okay these three sides look pretty even and then i got this one fat side hmm um but i'm going to put that layer of ribbon over it so then i can make it down to the same width as the others okay so what we're going to do next then is we're going to attach this part to our pillowcase okay so i have my pillowcase i'm looking for the zipper because i'm going to put the zipper at the bottom here it is okay these zippers it's a hidden zipper on our pillowcases so they're hard to find they're really cool okay so here we go we're going to attach this now to our pillowcase so you wanna um, just kind of center it so you can see that once I have this down and attached, then this ribbon will come in and give it just a little, another pop of color, okay? And then I even have a flower thing I might uh, put on here too. So this will go like this. And I do have the corners meter, mitered on this ribbon, but now I'm thinking I might do, remember I was talking about squaring it? I might just kind of do a pattern. I might iron these flat again and maybe just do, um, I'm thinking of like a pattern like this and maybe putting a button or something in the middle. Okay, so that's the decorative part of it. You can mess with that part later, okay? Um, so you wanna get this on, kind of center it the best you can. Now the first thing is, remember, we just hot glued it to this brown part. So what you're gonna do first is I want you to take your fabric glue. This is hard to come out sometimes, I will tell you. Okay, here we go. Take your fabric glue and glue it. You do not want it seeping out, okay? So be careful how much you put down, okay? Because you do not want it to seep. Okay, so you're gonna just kind of reach in here underneath your uh, canvas okay and add some glue okay now I did get a little glue in there I'm gonna pull it off with my fingers okay so you're gonna do that and wipe that glue off you're gonna do this all the way around okay so in the top of this you can make um hang on you can make you cut the top off of this uh, bottle so you can make it a bigger opening if you'd like. Okay, so I'm gonna get all that glued down. 
Remember to be careful. I already got a little glue here, but be careful um, to not put too much or it'll seep out from the edges and you'll, you might be able to see it. Okay. If you do get a little on, just try and get it up right away. Okay. All right, I'm gonna turn this. And then when I'm letting this dry, um, what I do is I just, um, I put something heavy on it. I have a big, like a big 12 by 12 tile, ceramic tile thing. So I usually use that as my weight. Um, if you have books or heavy pans or something like that, you can use that to glue it down or to hold it down nice and flat until it all dries. Now, the first time I glue this, I may miss some spots, okay? So especially like in these corners and stuff, because I'm trying to put just a little bit so it doesn't seep through. Once this is dry, you can kind of feel it, go back around it and kind of lift it up and feel it. And if you feel any spots that you think need more glue, you of course can then do that, okay? Um, and But remember too, this is gonna be a pillow, it's decorative, probably on your couch or a chair in a corner or something somewhere. So um, it's not gonna be handled a lot, so it should be fine. This fabric glue is really strong. Um, and it will hold it for a while, for a long while, forever. Um, once the fabric glue is dry, you're not gonna be able to pull it apart. Okay, so I've got the glue underneath the canvas part to kind of just hold it to now the brown fabric. I just wanna eyeball this to see where I'm gonna put it. You can be um, real specific, you can measure it out. I'm just gonna kind of eyeball it today. Okay. All right, so here's what we're gonna do. Now is when you're gonna use a bunch of this, okay? So you can see how it comes out. Now remember I said about it, um, if, it, if you get too much of it, it'll bleed through the fabric. Now it will not bleed through the canvas. So you can be pretty generous on the canvas, but do be careful on the fabric. Um, the corners, of course, have many, many layers. So you can go a little crazy there, getting those corners, because that'll also flatten out a lot of that fabric. Okay. And this is hard, I'm getting to the bottom of the bottle too. Okay, so here's why I have my paintbrush here. You do not, when you do these edges, here. You do not want to leave pools. Yeah, you hear it's starting to splat. I'm getting low on glue. Okay, you do not want to leave whole, um, pools like this because it will bleed through. So take your paintbrush and kind of spread this out. It will help, hopefully, so it doesn't bleed through your fabric. Okay, and I'm getting to the edge as close as I can, not right up to the very edge, but that's okay. Okay, you can kind of just spread all this glue out so you don't have any pools. All right. I think it looks okay, I hope. Okay, so now you're gonna take it, flip it over. Okay, and just kind of put it on your pillowcase where you think it goes best. And that is it. Now, this I am going to let dry for probably overnight. I'm gonna put um, something heavy on it, okay? Put something heavy on it, let it dry. You can check it periodically, like it's still morning here, but um, so I'll probably check it in a few hours to see how it's doing. 
and I'll see if like in my corners and stuff, if I think I need more glue, I'll put more glue on it and then put the heavy piece back on it. Okay. And then after this is all dry, I will come back and do my decorative part and decide what I'm going to do, how I'm going to do my corners and stuff with this ribbon. Okay. Um, like I said, I have one side that's got more brown, so I am going to try and cover that up a bit. But when I do the ribbon, um, I don't know, I might even double it up. I have to decide, okay? I'm going to decide how I'm going to finish this up and give it this decorative touch. So um, when you do the ribbon, do the same thing. Use your fabric glue, but please use a paintbrush to spread it out so you don't have any pools of glue in there, okay? So... As you can see, here it is. I hope it doesn't fall off by me holding it up, but look at how cute is this, right? Pop your pillow in from your couch and you've got a great decoration um, on your couch or just in like a corner chair or chair by the fireplace or something. So cute and easy to store then. When you're all done, um, it'll be easy to store, okay? So this is not done yet, but it will be soon after it dries and I get my decorations on it. Um, we've had uh, one diva, she did a really cute thing to her. She did a Christmas pillow and she added tassels to the corners, which was adorable. So if I could find some tassels, I would, might do that on the corners or something. I have a pink flower I might attach to this somehow too, um, just because of these cute flowers in the cup. So I do have a pink flower I might put up here in a corner or something. So we'll see. But right now I'm just gonna let it dry. I hope this was helpful for you. Um, pillows are fun to make. They are beautiful when they're done. And like I said, we do carry the pillow covers also. And we have this khaki plaid right now, khaki buffalo plaid. We have a black and white buffalo plaid, a solid black and a solid natural color. Um, so a little something that could go with everything, right? So we're going to let this dry. I hope this was a huge help for you. Remember to follow us on Facebook, Diamond Dotting Divas. We are also on Instagram, Diamond Dotting Divas. Um, our website, diamonddottingdivas.com. And you can always email us, diamonddottingdivas at Yahoo. So kind of the same across the board. We're easy to find. And we'd love to talk to you. If you need any help with anything, we're here for you. Don't forget about our Monday Night Lives. Uh, every Monday, we do a live show, 6 p.m. Mountain Standard Time. And uh, we always have lots of fun. We introduce new product. So please join us there. Um, and we have a monthly box club, too. So check out our website. You'll see all the fun that we are having. And we will check back with you later with another project. Bye, everybody. Have a great day.